Hold him. Now you listen to me, you hillbilly punk who thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat! <laughs> Interesting guy, man, and uh, you know, he believes it so. Kyrie, the earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever. The earth is flat. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> you must unite what is been set aside. We are TFR Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from Large Spaceship. Currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference coming this fall. And we have news on that. Actually, there's going to be some... There's a rumor. It's a strong rumor. I have it from good authority that tickets are going to be opening up. Extra tickets because uh, it's been getting too too nutty out there. And by the way, it's uh, July 11th right now. So we are doing this live. I know I said last week that I may not be able to make it, but... It turns out that when you take a family member to a hospital and it's sort of a surgery type thing, you get a medical pass to let you cut in line. And the doc. So how's that for fun? Anyway, hello everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure, thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, then you're brain damaged because it's blowing up right now, everywhere. And that's what we're going to talk about because I think I'm going to... I'm just going to title this show Mainstream. That's what I'm going to title it because the, the mainstream influence... We'll, we'll talk about it with some of the callers or whatever. But yeah, it's it's getting nutty right right now. It's getting every... I called it. I said critical mass. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen by the time... And we still have four months. What, four months before the conference? Four months almost to the day. It is going to get nutty. Anyway, I should finish my intro. For those of you listening to this on YouTube, you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, this show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And it's July 11th. So if you're not listening to it on July 11th, then it's not live. The truth is not... Oh, quote, I'm sorry. Quote of the day from the peanut gallery. The truth is not wonderful enough to suit the newspapers, so they enlarge upon it and invent ridiculous embellishments. That's from Ann Sullivan. Nice. Okay, let's get to the announcements. First one is the Flat Earth Conference, as I mentioned at the top of the show, which is there are going to be a few more tickets released. So if you are not on the waiting list now, if you were on the waiting list, you're probably going to get in. That's the great news. If you actually were on the waiting list before tonight, you're probably getting it. Probably. I'm not going to promise anything. If you're not on the waiting list yet, you got to go to fe2017.com and get freaking tickets. Like now. You know, put Get on the waiting list. If you can't get on the waiting list, sign up for live streaming. They're going to sell uh, unlimited amounts of those. Uh, I still encourage anyone to go. Uh, even, if, even if you can't get into the main hall, it's going to be great if you want to hang around people that are like-minded or totally into the flat earth just like you. And they're not going to make fun of you. I've been to multiple Flat Earth events, and they're all very high energy, very enthusiastic, totally worth it, just to, just to be there. And the main hotel, just so you know, the main hotel is probably going to sell out tonight. 
it's almost there's only like a couple rooms left in the whole hotel for that for that weekend. So if you're not in the main hotel, uh, you're gonna have to go to the Overflow Hotel, which is down the street a little bit, and the uh, website at FE 2017 will keep you posted on that. And also, if you're press and you're trying to get in on press passes, lie, cheat, and steal, and try to come in with a bare amount of people. Don't ask for three or four press passes. You're not going to get them. I can tell you that right now. The, uh, the, the We're expanding the press passes as well, and even those are being snapped up really, really quickly, and we're still holding off a few of the uh, choice press passes for, of course, the last-minute people. And somebody's calling in, 914, and they hung up, but that's okay. 914, call, call, call back. By the way, do... Do feel free to call in on the main line, 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. Or the backup number, which is 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch over to that one. And 845 is calling in as well. Let's see if we can get him. 845 looks like they're sticking. Let's pick him up real quick, shall we? 845, are you there? Hello, it's Mark from New York. How are you? I am well. How are you? Have you been listening to the show so far? <laughs> uh, I'm listening. Uh, I also wanted to say, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I have been touching globes. <laughs> are, we, are we talking real <laughs> globes or, or something that resembles globes? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying that because... Uh, the uh, article in the Denver Post called you the father of flat earth. Oh, oh damn it. I should have gotten that joke. And I hopefully people will not run with that like they did the <laughs> we are all Mark Sargent thing. D- D- uh, D-I-T-R-H, that was the first thing he said to me when he read the article. He was literally the first thing he said, <laughs> so I'm going to start calling you father now. I was like, oh, man. So, well, let's, let's, let's talk about that briefly. That's and awesome. Because... It, for those of you who don't know, the Denver Post called me at uh, Peanut Gallery, smiling at that little <laughs> statement. By the, way. the um the Denver Post called me, and we did a phone interview, and then I forward him, forwarded him to the local meetups, which was one in Fort Collins and one in Denver. And he went to the Fort Collins one, and ODD and Bob from Globusters showed up, and it was a big big turnout. It was, it was a pretty big thing. And he goes back to his editor, is there's going, this can't be real. So they actually sent off uh, sent up a photography team the very next Tuesday. And I did not know any of this. I, I thought they were going to kill the story. And so I called him uh, last Thursday, and I said, so is the story going to die? You know, talk about the opposite. He, he goes, no, 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 it's going to run tomorrow. But he didn't tell me. <laughs> it, it makes the front page, literally the top of the paper, in, uh, you know, b- with picture, with full, co- full color photograph. And all of a sudden, which is why I'm going to call this, this episode mainstream, the amount of calls I have gotten in the last 48 hours has been, I've been kind of waiting for it anyway, but it's, it's still something you're not completely ready for. In fact, the calls came into the, the local organizer for the Fort Collins meetup, John, John Vanock. So all of a sudden these calls start coming in from let's who have I talked to HBO, ABC, CNN, Chronicle. They're going to run a story down there. The Baltimore Sun has nice. has, has reached out. It's yeah. It, How could I forget? Peanut Gallery is Al Jazeera reached. Yeah, really. No, I'm totally serious. Really? Yeah, yeah. I haven't I haven't played wow. phone tag with them yet. I don't know who's talking to those guys yet. But look what else happened. I mean, you had ODD and Nathan from that that giant Facebook flat earth group. He they did a, a you know a thing with a three million subscriber channel. Vice from UK interviewed Nathan Oakley. And there's a, another, a different version of Vice is going to be at the conference on top of a documentary team that's going to be at the conference. And we still got four months to go. It is getting 
I, I called it. I said, look, if we can make it to the conference before this thing blows up, that's what I'm kind of worried about. You know, because kind of like the, the truck full of explosives going down the highway. It's like, it's like, yeah, yeah, it might make it to its destination, but it might not because it's trucks full of explosives. That's really what we're talking about here. I mean, in four months, anything could happen. So I'm hoping that, that everything stays somewhat sane before before we get to the conference, but uh, in fact, you did. In fact, you just did a little impromptu meetup, didn't you? Yes, I did, and I was so excited. I wanted to talk to you about it. We went. I talk to me about it. Got- to meet Candy. I got to meet Candy. Me, Larry Siebens. We drove down to North Carolina. We met. I spy NASA lies. Yep. Ryan C. OBL Music. Karen B. John the Morgile, his wife, and of course, friends and family, the neighbors, everybody was outstanding. It was, I, I'm just floored. I was so, so, so excited. It just went down so perfectly. Yeah. Everybody was, was, was nice. Everybody had a great time. There was no uneasiness. It was like I met my friends and family that I haven't, you know, for the first time. It was, yeah. uh, it was just so incredible. It, yeah. it, it truly, it truly was. That's you fantastic. Know, uh, Ryan and NC brought his uh, P90, P900, I mean. P900, yeah. And P90 he got a gone, picture of Saturn. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he took right. a picture of Saturn with it, and it it was amazing because it's just a little white dot, and it looks like it might have rings, but it, it, it doesn't look like any kind of a planet or anything. It was amazing, right. the detail that the camera got. I was, I was impressed. Nice. It was great. It, it really was. It, it really was. Everybody, like I said, just, I mean, I, I, I'm almost speechless because it was just so overwhelming emotionally to finally meet people. Oh, you yeah. Know? And I can't wait till the conference times. Oh, the conference you know? is going to like, be amazing. A freaking zoo. It's, and, and again, every meetup that I have been to or have, well, I mean, you've watched the videos of the other meetups. It's always the same way, which is people get there and people that have usually hung out with family and friends that give them crap, just basically just give them crap. That's all. It's like, oh, you flat earth idiot. But you get to a room with a whole bunch of flat earth people. They all get it. You don't have to ask them necessarily. You know, the you don't have to ask them, do you get it? Everybody's on the same page instantly. And it's a, it's a fantastic yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got goosebumps right now. I just wish it was still going this weekend. It was awesome. Yeah, that's great. Hey, I got a, a little quote for you from we got, because of this. Uh, yeah. kind, kindness makes you the most beautiful person in the world, no matter what you look like. And I, oh. I don't know who, who that was from. That's from Anonymous. But I like it because we were all down there. We were all different, all different. I, I mean, it was a mishmash. It, we were all, all different backgrounds. And mm-hmm. we were there on the same vibe. It was freaking cool, man. It really was. I'm, nice. I just was so stoked. That's uh, awesome. I, I can't wait to do it again. We want to go yeah. down. We're going to try to go down again in, uh, before the conference, hopefully. I've, um, I've got and, a... And uh, we had to... Uh, oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I, I was just going to say that we... we <laughs> poor Morgyle. <laughs> we kept cornering him and asking him questions it was it was great though he was he was awesome he was he was good good that's all i have to, i've got to do a a meetup well not a meetup but a a hangout with him on a british hangout on the 18th i believe so really yeah that should be interesting all right cool cool yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Man. I'm just but it, floored. Floored. i've got to so do good. The, like, for example, the the HBO guys, they, they're going to fly up here to Seattle. They want me to do a Seattle meetup because they want to, you know, they want to, yeah. you know, they want, you know, some sort of action happening thing. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, yeah. By, I'm sorry. Sure. The, the, sure, um, that, that way they can see what the public does. Yeah, yeah, it's but it's like it's like okay, well, I wasn't planning on a meetup, but if you guys are coming up, absolutely, and I don't know how I'm going to address it to the restaurant. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, um, we're going to have a pretty big group, and uh, they may be filming it for HBO, so I don't know what you can do. I don't know. The um, they would I know, it's love getting, it. 
Don't, I know. Uh, it's getting, love it. don't it's love getting it. weird out there. Oh, yeah, by the quote from the peanut gallery for you. Sometimes I wonder whether the world is being run by smart people who are putting us on or by imbeciles who really mean it. Huh, that's good. That's from uh, Mark Twain. I never heard that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, man. I got to make sure I, the Al Jazeera so one true. didn't go go the i if i if i know there's a couple people i haven't still haven't contacted yet i was out of town but uh i'm i'm gonna jump on it when i get a chance but yeah it's crazy now now we're reaching the the whole new thing where everybody in their region better be better brush up on your material don't just say flat earth rah rah go team you better know your stuff (laughs) because uh, right right and I and I again I called yeah. it. I said when this thing finally hits a certain level, there will not be enough flat earthers to go around. There won't. You know, to people is like, people want to be on camera. You know, they they want you to. I mean, hey, well, I was. Uh, go ahead. I uh, no, I was going to say if they're listening, I'll I'll uh, do a documentary. <laughs> There you go. You can follow me in my flat the, well, the conference, the conference <laughs> is going to be shot pretty much twenty four seven. So if you're in the if yeah, you're in cool. the area, you're going to be filmed, plain and simple. I don't think there's anything we can oh, do yeah. to stop that. It's gonna. I keep that imagine- hotel's Wi Fi is going to burn. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine the amount of <laughs> bandwidth that is going to be? They're going to. I don't know how they're going to do it. Oh my! I mean, because people, the people wow. that aren't doing. People are going to be streaming and doing all this stuff from their chairs while they're in the event. The event is going to be streamed, and then people in their hotel rooms are going to be streaming it. So the, the, that part Absolutely. of the city is going to be a nightmare. People are going, to go, what the hell is happening? Uh, it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be great, though. I, I cannot wait. But again, it's the explosive, uh, you know, the burning truck thing. I, it's like we got, and I, pe- yeah. Patricia keep giving me crap about that. She's going, what do you mean if we make it? I go, it's a long time away. I go, do you know how much can happen in 30 days? I mean, look what just happened in, in, in a week, not even a week. Look what's happened. I, I went, wait till the yeah. scene, I mean, scene actually runs the story. And really, why wouldn't they at this point? You know, or Al Jazeera or, yeah. or Vice, you know, how, you know, because once it becomes, here's the thing. Once it becomes, once it gets that 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 momentum behind it, everybody's going to grab it. Then it's it's like fair game. It's well, it's like well, these guys ran it. I'm going to run it. And that's how it goes. People watch each other's stuff. The, in fact, the uh, uh, the um, uh, the HBO guy is called because of the Denver Post. They you know they look at the headlines of every major newspaper. And you know, Denver Post that was front page, literally the headline. If it w- if it was like on page five, probably would have missed it. So, anyway, right, right, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Meanwhile, that's, my fr- that's crazy because I mean, go, oh, ahead. go ahead, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that is just insane because, like you, you're saying, I mean, if it's getting to that point where the mainstream media guys are not so afraid or somebody's not stepping on their throats and letting them air this stuff. Right. Whoa. You know, like you said, it's going to go like wildfire. Cause like yeah. you said, and, and I, what is it? Uh, all the news agency, I mean, they all, they all go to, what is it? API, which I think. Oh, yeah. Associate, CBS, Associate yeah. And, yeah. and it's all the same, same shit. They, I mean, word for word verbatim. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. God, oh, wow. God helps us. God helps us. This, this makes the Associated Press wire. Then we're going to have some yeah. fun. Then, I'm sorry, I don't even know. Crazy. Yeah, someone would probably end up buying out the conference promoter and move it to a different venue if that's what happened. They would say, like, sorry, we're going to move it to... Um, you, you know, it'll still be in, it would still be in Raleigh. But it's like, okay, what's the literally the biggest building in Raleigh? We got to move it there, like, right now. Because that's that's what you know. Because they're right, promoters, right? So we could have ten thousand people. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it would turn into. Because and why wouldn't you try to do that? It's like, wait, it's like how many? How many is this hold? It was like less than six hundred. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> there could be six hundred press showing. Yeah. I keep. Let me let me throw one more thing out there, and then we gotta take other callers. Which is, I keep envisioning. Okay. The, if you remember the movie Contact, and I, in fact, maybe I'll use this clip if I get a chance. 
if you remember the movie Contact when it was first released to the to the to the mainstream news, and Jodie Foster's driving into work one day, and the highway on both sides has just turned into this circus sideshow with all these different groups, yes. you know, with all the you know the Vega the Vega Car Club and the religious guy and and the people that are pointing satellites up at the sky and all these different groups. I keep thinking that that's what that's what the conference will turn into because you're gonna have you're gonna have protesters, no question. At this, if if, if this goes mainstream, we're gonna have protesters, Ooh. and yeah, uh, but they're gonna be outnumbered and outgunned. So uh, and then you got the press for and against. You know, you got comedian, you got your podcasters, people that are just showing up for the hell of it. Uh, God help me if Mark Dice shows up. I hate that man. I really don't want Mark Dice to show up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, on that note, I got, seriously, if he shows right. up, it's like like point shows all his stuff. It's like, dude, seriously, uh, go away. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Oh my goodness. All right, man. Too I got it. I gotta run. Right, I'll, I'll, I will. I'll let you go. Hey, uh, just so you know, I'm st- I'm streaming your show live now on uh, YouTube. We have a chat room going. If anybody wants to go there and listen and chat, so your show's on. I wanted to say a uh, uh, shout out to Candy. Thank you so much for having us. You were a gracious host, and we had a fantastic time. Yeah, Love, Candy. Loved it. Nice. And I didn't. I didn't meet any actor shills, so I don't know what these people are talking about. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. It says in the script right here, it says, I didn't meet any actor awesome. shills. Perfect. You read it perfectly. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon, Good. okay? I wanted to make sure I got that in. Okay. All right. Later, brother. Thank okay. you so much. Have a, have a good one and keep up the good work. All right. You too. And cut. All right. Bye-bye. End scene. All right. The oh, we still have time before the break. I will take one more call before we go to the break. If you get a chance, seven two zero eight nine seven six one one one. That is seven two zero eight nine seven six one one one. And let me cut, make a quick another announcement. And that is any subject matter. And I know it's been a long time because it's been at least a year since I've done the subject matter expert stuff for for most of them. I, I know I did a few others in, in between. But the uh, if anyone else uh, from the subject matter expert wants to be part of the mainstream media explosion, please. Get a hold of me. Send me your best email and your best phone number if you don't want to be anonymous. Because look, the, the mainstream guys are involved now, and which which means you know you don't have to be necessarily embarrassed anymore. Come forward. I've already got a list of people. I'm already shooting it out a, a, a short list, but I want more. Mainstream is here, so subject matter experts get involved. And I don't know who just tried to call me. I had a bunch of calls that tried to call, but they hung up. If you can't get on the main number, 720-897-6111, try 213-233-3998. Let's try this number right here. Uh, Candy, I'll, I'll be darned. It's, it's what we were just talking about you. What's going on, Candy? I heard you say my name. <laughs> what? I heard somebody say my name. Well, that that is because your name was was said. That was Mark from New York. <laughs> I, I saw some of the pictures. That was great. Thank you so much for doing a, a little impromptu flat earth meetup down where you are in North Carolina, right? Tell me that Mark from New York sent you pictures so I can drive to New York and choke him. Well, no, he didn't. Is that where you got pictures no, from? No, no, no. No, I, okay. I remember, well, remember, I've been gone for the last couple of days. So I saw a, and in fact, the peanut gallery has a quote for you. Go figure. At every party, there will there are two kinds of people, those who want to go home and those who don't. The trouble is they are usually married to each other. Ah, it's funny. That's, uh, and that's, that was by Ann Landers. Uh, no, the only picture I saw was uh, one of the group shots. That I saw some streaming stuff. Oh, well, I had to, I, I've been trying to get the pictures out of Mark for like, it seems like two weeks now. Oh, I have no, a no, quote no, from no, the no, peanut gallery, too. He not sent me any pictures. I saw, I saw the picture of him sleeping on a couch, but I have not yeah. seen it. <laughs> when it's older, that was hilarious because I tried for two or three hours to get him awake to lay in the bed, and he just wasn't having it. I said, do not be mad at me in the morning when you have a bad Ache in your neck, you can't move your head and you can't move your back. <laughs> but he, I guess he's used to sleeping at the table because he falls asleep in his stream every night. 
<laughs> nice. That's awesome. <sighs> but it was, it was awesome this week. Like, I wish that everybody lived here. Yeah. It was, it was really cool. Yeah. So, wait a minute. By the way, it, I, I it it stream, your, your hair is pink again. What happened? No, it's not. It's like, um, it's like a, it's weird because in the, in the house, it looks like it's, uh, Dark. Like a dark, like a reddish brown color, but in the light, in the sun, it looks purple. When somebody took a picture of me this weekend and I saw the back of my head, I was like, Whoa, my hair does look purple. Well, but you know what? The, doesn't the matter. I'm not, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't use that, that 60s quote, which is, you know, let your freak flag fly because it's a horrible thing to try to say anyway. So, you know, just let your personality come through. It, whatever, however you want to come to the conference, you come to the conference, you know, and and just represent yourself. You'll be great. Just know that you may Bye. have to talk to, to Conan or uh, at some one of the major talk show hosts. By then, it might be different. I'm I'm trying to slowly get it away from the pink, and that was the, the easiest thing that I could do that would cover the pink because I wasn't going to do it black. And, like, I had to, I don't know, I was in that, the hair place forever trying to get them to tell me what to put in my hair. Because my daughter has, like, she, um, her hair is rainbow color. But she yeah. had, like, a crap load of different colors. And I was like, I don't know which one to use, and I'm not going to put, like, just any color in my hair. So. Got it. Got At it. least it's pink. Yes. Hey, by the way, so we've got oh about 30 seconds to the break. So any little shout outs you want to do? Anything you want to say? I have a quote for the peanut gallery. You a want true to say friend what? is someone who thinks that you're a dick. Huh? Let's go ahead. Say that again. A true friend is someone who thinks that you are a good egg, even though he knows that you are slightly cracked. Well, that's good. I like that. It's clever. Cool. All right. Well, that was a radio show home somewhere. But <laughs> nice. I finally, I had well, technically, I'm a radio show host somewhere. So. Something like that. Right. Right. All right, you get out of here, and I will. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Later, Dave. Is Truth Frequency Radio. No hate, no hype, no fear. Real people, real radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part two of four. And a quick shout out to the guy that sent me the $6 million man clip where Steve Austin is telling his friend as he's walking away, I've been to the moon. It's not as far as you might think. I thought that was really interesting. I'm going to pick up Australia first before I pick up uh, Wesley Stays. So hang on one second. Let's pick up Australia. Australia, you are on live with Strange World. What is going on down under? so to speak. Hey, what's up, Mark? It's Mitchell from Australia. Hey! <clears throat> um, hey, how you going? Yeah, I'm, I'm the one doing the entire flight in New Year's Eve. Um, nice. Bef- yeah, before I get into that, kind of, yeah, it's starting a, a somber note. Um, the people responsible for the second ever flag billboard, Marissa, Marissa and Chad. Yes. And the, I think it's the Tulsa the billboard. Yeah, they were actually in a horrible um, car crash on the 4th of July, I think it was, and yeah, kind of intensive care at the moment. So yeah, kind of thoughts and prayers go out to them at the moment. I agree, I agree. And thank you for reminding me about that. I, I've been uh, dealing with some hospital stuff of my own up here. Not me, but uh, a family member. 
And I caught that just before I left. And, and as far as we, everybody knows, it wasn't under suspicious circumstances? No, I hope not. I don't think so, but yeah, it's, it's just a horrible crash. Like, yeah, there's pictures of the car on, yeah, on some Facebook sites, and yeah, it's just just horrible. But yeah, God. if any if anybody has the information of, of what happened out there, or if anyone went to visit the hospital, or if you're going to visit the hospital, please by all means let me uh, give me give me the info when you can. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay. Um, yeah, on to my Antarctic flight. Um, yeah, I was. Kind of just um, wanted to get the word out there a bit more because, um, like, I was talking to the IPS and he reckons he's cracked the code on on GoFundMe sort of things to get donations. He he says he you need to incentivize to um, kind of okay. get because he's given away the the free paintings and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so like, yeah, <clears throat> he's going to help me out with that sort of thing if people are going to jump on board at like yeah, for fifty dollars donations. Uh, a painting by him, I think it was. Awesome. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, this is one for the for the peanut gallery. Um, as an incentive, it would be great if you could, every $100 that we raise for the flight, Mark, it would be great if you could sing, sing a line of um, Joe Jackson stepping out. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so, you know. To get this thing happening, Mark. <laughs> Tell you what, if people actually twist my arm into it even though oh it's that's painful i mean it could be worse you could ask me to like <laughs> to like like dance or something but i i i do it i do it i do it you do it that's that's yeah, right. yeah, great yeah, cause, Mark, yeah. uh, <laughs> regrettably and yay and, and, and be careful what people wish for because having me sing joe jackson <laughs> i it's not my range not my range but you know i that's fine. That's fine. The pe- when the pe- when the people things- want it, Mark, it's gonna happen. Thanks, man. That's um, awesome. Yeah, I'll I'll go over the details. Sorry. P- Peanut Gallery could not be more happy right now with that whole that whole situation. Yeah, it's for a good cause, says the Peanut <laughs> Gallery. Awesome. That's really great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. If you want to, anyone that wants to look up the GoFundMe, it's just look up uh, Flat Earth Antarctic Flight. Um, at the moment, just just to book the tickets, just to confirm it, it's only three hundred and ninety dollars just to confirm the seats, and then yeah. Yeah, whatever after that, it would just be yeah to upgrade the seats to get better um, footage, like from window seats and that sort of thing. Oh, cool. Um, oh yeah, been cop- yeah been copying a bit of criticism though. People are saying they reckon it's like yeah, kind of fake flights. It's not going to run. Uh, it's going to cancel uh, that sort of thing. But um, like I, I oh, put on oh, GoFundMe, like anyone like who donates, flight, but, I think yeah, maybe. But uh, but but it's not. But oh. I mean, it's not like it's. You're not scamming them. But if the flight gets canceled, it's not your fault. No, that's that's right. Yeah, like I, I put on the GoFundMe as well. Anyone who donates, if it does happen to cancel or I can't go on it or anything, like I'll definitely give all the money back. I'll yeah through PayPal or work something out, something like that. But yeah, I'm, yeah it's not scam. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I rang the people and they've been going since 1994, and I think only one flight's been canceled. So it's I've got a good record and awesome. They they claim it's happening. So there's been there yeah, thousands of people on these flights. So well, that's great. Awesome. So tell people tell people yeah. where to go to uh, to do the GoFundMe thing. Uh, yeah, just look up um, Flat Earth Antarctic flight, and it'll just have the the penguin face on it, the Beppy penguin face, and yeah, just donate there and or just share. Like I'd, I'd be happy if everyone just shared it just to get the word around because yeah, as far as I know, no one has ever kind of yeah, put out footage of, like, this is going to be going over Antarctica at midnight, and I'm going to be filming the whole thing, so it should nice. verify if there's a midnight sun there or not. Cool. And also, um, we're going over the South Magnetic Pole, so I'm going to be taking a couple of compasses just to see if it flips around or goes crazy or, or yeah, just kind of get some hard evidence, like, on, on camera great. of all this. Sure. That's, that's really, really great. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, no worries, Mark. Yeah, thanks for the thanks for the time as well. Oh, it would be great if you could um, oh, just help us out. Um, if you could mention on Patricia's show tomorrow night, just kind of yep. get her, uh, you know, I got a funny feeling. Too. I got a funny feeling that Patricia is listening right now and probably taking notes. <laughs> well, that'd be great if you could mention Patricia and 
and mark yourself. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Get the word out there and, yeah, and get some good footage of Antarctica. So. Yeah, and thank you for putting me in an awkward social situation, which may require <laughs> therapy later. That's awesome. <laughs> We're all here for you, Mark. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> all right. Well, you have a good show, mate. All right. You too. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Let's get rid of that guy. Uh, oh, well, by the way, yes, I it, people did catch me. I did that one thing, which you always see in movies. And, and it's like, yeah, you have a good plane flight. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you too. I can't remember the comedian that always made fun of that people that everybody falls into it eventually. So I'm not embarrassed. I'm not. I'm more worried about me singing that song, to be be honest. All right. Somebody is on hold. Who is it? Let's find out. 612 area code. Who is it? Uh, That's what you were supposed to say. Uh, but... It is what state splatter news. How are you doing, Mark? Uh, uh, why? Uh, Why? You know, you really got to get you got to get you got to get the recording of Skype when you shut down Skype and it goes. Oh. Uh, so every time I call in, play it, then everyone knows who it is. <laughs> I've got I've got some really cool sound effects on this computer, and they're old school. Most of my little computer doodad sounds are from Star Trek Next Gen, and I really right. enjoy. Them. I re- what I really wanted was a special sound effect for. And I, I know I can extract it. And you'll know this one. Do you, do you remember the movie Sergeant Bilko with Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd? Yes, I do. I yep. wanted, when you tr- when you transferred files from something to something, Dan Aykroyd has one of the most, the, the greatest, loudest, clearest transfer. Because he was trying, he was trying, Steve Martin was trying to get him to say that line. He's going, transvestite, No transfer you know and, and that's what i want to use but i don't think there's a, a a sound effect just for transferring files or maybe there is if there is i'm, I'm going to grab it. oh we could find it i'm sure of it yeah yeah that or just get the get, get a little snippet off of the uh top of the movie clip well yeah no i'm thinking of grabbing well i mean it's probably on youtube right now so i can probably grab it i don't have to download the entire movie to grab it so anyway what, what yeah, else is going on with you exactly. man exactly yeah. Oh yeah, I just wanted to let everyone know about my new show. Uh, I got it, got it up and running. Flat Earth News Talk. Uh, it will, if you do a search, it, you'll see two of them. One has me with a black hat on. That's the old one. Okay. The one without the hat, and I'm holding a guitar. That's the new one. Okay. I just got done doing a interview with uh, Mike Hamlet, uh, oh, cool. which is the guy who busted NASA. I just um, I sent I just, you out a video that cgi video that he did i just sent that to cnn today as a matter of fact they requested something along those lines cool yeah awesome awesome yeah i went and i uh you know me i don't i don't schedule anything it's on the fly and i and you're like dude you got to give me more notice i get it but when i oh, schedule yeah, especially things nowadays. Going on, yeah i know i know well remind me by the way to subscribe to your thing when I when when yep, you get a chance, no problem. I haven't, and I haven't subscribed to the new one yet. Sure, no problem. And as well as uh, I'm going to have Mike back on. He did a hour, hour about an hour uh, interview with me. Went went really good, I thought. Um, and he definitely wants to talk to you. Oh, cool. So I said, well, I'll try to set it up. So yeah, yeah. I'm, maybe I'm, we can I'm, all I'm three shooting. do a. Have them shoot an email to me and uh, put something clever in the subject line, and I'll, I'll definitely read it. By the way, there's a, um, a right, pick so, cool. for you, which is the yes, of course. Gallery. I was waiting it's, for it. Uh, true wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us. <laughs> That's from Socrates. There's wor- words to live by by peanut gallery. And Candy actually commented on you right now. And she says, tell him I want to know if he put jelly on his new channel. Don't know what that means. <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to think about it, and i got no clue what she's talking about. Uh, that's all right. That's Sorry, all right. Candy. No worries, man. Maybe it's a reference to candy or sweet things. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Hard to say. Hard to say. Anyway, I've got somebody on hold. I gotta pick them up. Any uh, shout outs right. you want to do before I 
before I kick you off? Because, you know, I don't like you. Shout out to pretty much everyone in the flat earth. Patricia Steer, Mark, Candy, Larry, Jonathan, and the list just keeps getting bigger. I know, right? And it's going to get weirder real soon. Get ready for it. Brush up on your yeah. on your skills because yep, yep, yep. there's going to be cameras. People are going to be interviewing people. No problem. I'm getting that down. Getting it down, getting it all written up in my head, and hopefully it'll stick. Perfect. I need peanut butter to stick it. Oh, my God. All right, Mark, all you right, take man. care. I'll talk you soon. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye-bye. Okay, before I pick up, it uh, looks like Kentucky, uh, I should announce, and I, I'm sorry, I should have brought this up at the beginning of the show, but I literally, I didn't, honestly didn't think I was going to do a show tonight, so I just ran in, just started, fit, you know, I had so many things I had to answer, because remember, the mainstream media just blew up over the weekend because of that Denver Post article, and that is, I've got to mention the that DITRH had his channel taken down, for uh, not because of flat Earth stuff, because of Sandy Hook stuff. There was a there was a Sandy Hook activist, a pro like Sandy Hook was absolutely as advertised. Went after DITRH and and hit him three times in what a five a very short amount of time. I don't know how, how short it was, but it was very short. And his channel was wiped out. So he's brilliant building a brand new one. It's still called DITRH. It's got Flat Earth as the banner. So check it out. Go, please subscribe to him. I've got a video on it with a link to it in the comments section, which is on my channel. It's called Revive and subscribe to DITRH. Check that out when you get a chance. Okay. Uh, so let me pick up Kentucky first, and then I'll pick up what looks to be Kalamazoo, Michigan. Here we go. Kentucky first. 502, Kentucky. Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on? All right, Mark. Uh, I uh, first time caller. Been uh, listening to your channels for about three months now. Cool. And I can honestly say uh, I've never had my mind blown uh, <laughs> on that that type of scale. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah and you're in mute. Kind of, oh. This is yeah. This, this is coming from someone who followed the whole. Uh, 9-11 conspiracies and, and Sandy Hook. I heard you just talking about that and um, usually following all of them. I, I never realized they could pull pull off a, a con that big. Um, right. So I appreciate everything everything you do on, on the channels and for uh, getting the information out there. But I do have one question that I haven't been able to find with my own research. Shoot. Okay, so if someone is got a camera pointed at the North Star and they could take a like a time lapse and it shows all the constellations uh, forming a circle, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, I know what you're talking about. That's that's supposedly in in the northern hemisphere. What would happen if they did it in the southern hemisphere? Would it be going in the same direction? And what would that mean? My opinion on this varies somewhat because I go with the easier model. You know, there's there's two main models out there in the flat earth world, which is one has a dome, one doesn't. And if you have the dome, for, for me anyway, and, and again, this is my opinion, but I know other people share it. And that is it's no different than having a very, very big planetarium which is if it's really big, you're going to have multiple display systems and you're going to have, because I believe the time-lapse footage that's taken at the equator where you have stars going clockwise versus counterclockwise. You know, I've, I've seen the footage myself. And you're like, look, that's if, if the place is big enough, and I know it's hard for people to understand because your average planetarium isn't even 100 yards wide. But what if the planetarium was 100 miles wide? Even 100 miles wide, you'd need multiple display systems. So the if you're if, if you're worried about seeing a southern pole star, you know, that's spinning in the opposite direction, I've got no problem with that in my model because it's just part of the display system. Remember, when it comes to the sky, and I, I try to make this easy for people, it is literally a planetarium, which means it's almost unlimited what you can do up there. For forget about clock stars going clockwise versus counterclockwise. You could put your face on the moon for a birthday party. You could spell out your name in <laughs> stars. You could do anything you want. People people give me the 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 star thing, the star trail thing, and I'm going, heck, why 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 throw me something like that? Throw me something harder. Like, I don't know, the blood moon. Because the blood moon should be impossible 
forget about this the you know you know which direction the blood moon should be impossible because there's no earth between the sun and the moon so how does the moon turn red and i've seen the moon turn red myself especially this last one that that we all went through that's it's because of the display so, system they're coloring the moon red so are you are you saying in your in your model uh for the flat earth the it's not just the the dome is not just one giant display uh that that circles as one uh display no, piece no, so i'm saying multiple it's, display pieces it's multiple displays pieces it's got multiple capabilities and it's instanced it's phased meaning you can display anything you anything you want so if, again Remember, the, 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 whoever created this wanted to simulate that sort of system. So clockwise in one, one side, counterclockwise in the other side, piece of cake. Because the best part is, is no one's going to figure it out. Because you can only be in one place. It's so big, you can only be at one place at one time. So again, you're, you and your friend could be standing literally within 100 miles of each other at the equator. And you're saying, oh yeah, I see the, the belt of Orion. He says, I see the belt of Orion too. Right, you both think you're looking at the exact same belt of Orion, but you may not be. You may be looking at completely different projections of it, and not, and who would be able to tell the difference? You wouldn't. It's it's that good. I again, for my mom, it's way easier to go down that road because if you don't, if you do, try to do it without a dome, and I'm not picking on the, the the infinite plane guys, but if you try to do it without a dome, you got to dance around quite a bit more. And I can be lazy sometimes, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with you know, the, the planetarium. Look, I've been, I'm old enough. I've been in planetariums. I know what can be done there. You go there and it's like, oh, yeah, there's a waxing crescent. There's a waning crescent. There's a blood moon. There's a comet. Uh, you could do just about, and literally, you can have your name spelled out for birthday parties. It's not, it's, it is not yeah, hard. I've, I've seen the, uh, I've seen the companies that'll do that for you. I mean, it's expensive, but it can be done. Oh, heck, that, uh, that, that, one, that just amazes me. How about the old school? Let's go old school real quick before the before the break, which is, and I will pick up these other calls, I swear to you guys, Kalamazoo and somewhere in New York. The um, uh, Remember the old days when they used to have like Laser Floyd and, and Laser Zeppelin? That was the big thing, right? Those were just planetariums that they wanted to book some higher price gigs for the weekends. You know, get some really stoned people in there and then turn it from stars into, you know, you know back before music videos, uh, you know, Laser Floyd was a huge one. You know, they just put a whole bunch of different colored lasers on the ceiling. It's like, wow, man. It's like, look, it's the same ceiling that you're looking at when you're just seeing all the constellations. So, in fact, maybe I should dig up some of those old laser things. It's not going to show well on YouTube, but um, I think people get the point. Yeah, I actually just look, looked it up as you were explaining it. That is... Uh... And that's that's on the ceiling of, of a building, or that's in the sky. No, no. Usually, it's in the ceiling of a building. If you're, it, well, it depends. Okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you're in a hot weather, the thing is, you don't want to determine. You don't want to leave it to the weather. So you'd want to do it inside a building, like a planetarium. And of course, you know, you'd have to be a little lax in the rules because a lot of people got stoned either during or or before. You know, they they went in there, but it's. It's still pretty impressive, even if, if you're not on LSD or yeah. rooms or anything else, for that matter. Yeah. Oh, oh, and Peanut Gallery says, oh, yeah, laser Neil Diamond. Yeah, bring that up, because I'm one of the few people that actually got free tickets to Neil Diamond, and I went. Oh, my God. He played Forever in Blue Jeans 13 times in a row for the encore. It was frightening. I think that's a little, little uh, too old for me. I know. Uh, we'll look up Neil Diamond if you get a chance. Yeah, it was it was no, it was scary for me. You know, m women my mom's age tearing their clothes trying to get to get to him. <laughs> anyway, any any uh, shout outs? I got I got to pick up one more call before I go to break. Uh, no, no shout outs. Um, just wanted to call in for for the first time and uh, tell you that I appreciate all all the stuff that you guys are doing. Uh, and I, I won't I won't be able to make it up to. North Carolina for the for the conference. I would love to do that, but I, I live in Nashville, so way too far of a drive. Really? Is it that far for Nashville? Pretty far? I mean, I'm going to Virginia in September, and it's going to be like a 13-hour drive for me. So. Oh. Well, that's all right. We'll pick up the streaming if you get a day. chance. Man. It's this, the streaming gig is yeah. going to be really, really cool. Um, it's going to be shot from multiple cameras, and 
uh, it's going to be a big deal. I'm not kidding you, man. There's documentary teams. Uh, from what I understand, uh, one of the vice teams is going to be there. So, and who knows who's going to show up? I mean, I can, I can whole. Uh, I can wholeheartedly say after looking at all the information that that's out there, like it, it was almost like it, it was a scab that I couldn't stop picking and, and it deeper and deeper I got into it. I kept seeing straighter and straighter lines, if that yeah. makes sense. Yep. Absolutely. And, you, and yep. you, with, with all the, with all the stuff that they, they try to say is facts, you know, like um, the earth being on an axis or, you know, being however many miles away, all the stuff that they have to factor in just to make it work in the heliocentric model. You know, I, I can take one coincidence, but um, not not a million of them. I absolutely hear you. I, I, yeah, the circumstantial evidence on our side is monstrous. Anyway, I got to let you go, but uh, we will talk soon. Right. Don't, don't be a stranger. Call again, okay? All right, cool. Bye. All right. See you, man. All right, we're going to pick up Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Is that right? Kalamazoo, are you there? Hey, yeah. Yeah, it's the Reverend, of course, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's going on? You got three minutes and change. Get me. What do you got? Uh, hey, 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 hey. It's, it's going to be uh, short and sweet, right? Uh, I just wanted to say... You know, I, you know, it's obviously uh, I'm a reverend. You know, you know where I'm coming from. So yes. uh, I just wanted I just wanted to point out uh, people shouldn't be following witches, uh, self-proclaimed public, self-proclaimed witches. And, Agreed. And, and we don't we don't yeah yeah we don't have to mention any names. Uh, you know, we don't have to go there. But I, I'm just I'm just uh, you know concerned. Right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> that's I, that's your message of the night. Seriously, I would I would have thought it would have been a little more difficult than that. Don't worship right, witch it. Well. Which, yeah, don't don't follow witches because you don't know where they're going to lead you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's um, you know, uh, it, it it falls under the category of uh, they can't do anything right. It's uh, you know, up to no good. It's um. Uh, it's all of the above, and um, there's there's some folks out there um, in our circles that uh, completely agree with me. So, um, all right, just wanted to, just wanted to throw that out there. That's all. That's it. That's all you got. Well, uh, you know, um, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was, all right. Well, that was a while ago, but that's it okay. That's cool. Right on, man. And by the way, have you been have you been catching the mainstream stuff that's been going on? Um, like like as in as in um. The uh, front oh, page geez. of the Denver Post. Uh no no I didn't I didn't catch that at all. What 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 oh, happened? Like well you got you got you got to do it when you get a chance. And by the way, uh, New York. I will stay on through the break. And I will pick you up after the break. I promise. Because uh, calls oh, are Mark, of course. No, 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 different Mark. guy, different guy, different guy. No, he's not the only person oh. in New York, you know. <laughs> there's You're more. Really? I mean, it's... <laughs> there's millions out. There. This is news. This, just, this belongs on the on the front page of the Denver Post. I mean, seriously. <laughs> The, uh, the Denver Post decided that they were going to break ranks, and they ran a front-page article on the Flat Earth community. Went to one of the gatherings in, in uh, Fort Collins and talked, uh, interviewed myself and others, and it turned out really, really great. So it was... Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Hey, hey, I, I, I got to see the, um, the meetup with Patricia as well. So that was cool, you know. Um, what? Uh, you know, besides, besides the fact that, um, uh, what's, uh, um, the guy who I, I, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. 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 Drama, drama, drama. And, and he was, and you know, he was poking at Jaren and it's, um, oh my goodness. Great. Yeah, I know. Um, he is, I, I was like, look, don't, you don't want to make friends. That's fine, but it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you in the end. Hey, um, you get about, uh, 10 seconds till the music cuts. Uh, any, anything else? Anything? No, no, dude. No, no. Just, uh, stay away from witches. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's under the bus. <laughs> so. All right, man. <laughs> I'll see ya. <laughs> All right, dude. Bye bye.
good frequency. Your protection from, 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 from deception. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part three of four. We do have somebody on hold. We will pick them up in a second. Uh, but quick message to whoever is at 512 area code. If you're not getting through on the main number, because it just seems like you're just hitting redial over and over, which I don't mind. I mean, it just flashes on my screen for a second. You could, could try the backup number, which is 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. That goes straight into the switchboard. Uh, most people don't have to use it, but if you do, that's fine. Uh, shameless plugs. You know, I'm going to change the shameless plugs for this week, and that is uh, by the book. I don't know. I don't actually say that very much, but why not? And Amazon, Flat Earth Clues. Go get it. My publisher would appreciate it. Out in London. Okay, 914. Here we go. 914 area code. You've been on hold. You've been patient. What's going on? 914. Uh, Mark, I'm on. Hey, you're you're morning. on now. You I know, I know. You were you were waiting you so be. long. Uh, go, go ahead. <laughs> How are you, Mark? You're doing a great job here. I just want to tell you, your last video was absolutely fantastic. It's going to tweak videos that I'm going to be doing in the future in cool. terms of approaching uh, people on the street. Um, because I mean, if, if you approach somebody with the flat earth, mm -hmm. what do you think they're going to do? You know, I mean, it's going to be a, they're going to, they're going to look at you with, you have three heads. Right. If you probe somebody with um, something like, the way the planes are going around circles, you know, literally. I mean, they're, they're, they're the, the flight tracker and all that other nonsense, they're not going over the oceans. Mm -hmm. The uh, trajectory of these planes are, are, I mean, totally whacked out in, in terms of uh, if you're trying to track any of these planes at all. Right. Um, so I, that's a that's a that's a that's the best way to approach somebody if you want to get the seed planted in mm -hmm. terms of getting to uh, to the flat Earth. In, in yeah. terms of that. Um, yep. I hear you. But that was an excellent video, though. Really good. Well, thanks. Thanks. That's great. <laughs> By the way, I'm not hiding in a bush or or underneath a porch or anything like that. Oh, good. I am. I was a little worried that that you, usually there's some there's some dead giveaways <laughs> like that. You know, you hear you like a dog's chasing you, or or you know there's wind coming in from a weird direction or. Yeah. No, no, I actually made an agreement, so I have a little area right now of my own, and uh, it's uh, soundproof. So. Is it like, like a protest zone that the government sets up every once in a while in major cities? <laughs> well, well, kind of. I mean, we have to do what we got to do. I mean, we've got we've to bring this out to other people, and, yeah. you know, the only way to do it is, uh, you know, you go on your show, listen to videos, get all the information you need to get, yeah. Put everything together and approach people in the correct manner. Don't Agreed. go up to them and, and start screaming and yelling and go, "Oh yeah, the Earth is flat." No, <laughs> you're not gonna, you know, you can't do that. At least here in New York, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be locked away if you do that. You know, yeah, approach it in a small manner. Say, you know, oh yeah, you know, look, these yeah. the, the Main Street stuff will, will help and, too, and, a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can flash them some mainstream agree, stuff from time to time and say, hey, by the way, check out this, you know, because there's gonna be a whole bunch of stories coming out this summer on it, I guarantee it, and that'll that'll oh, open yeah. up the dialogue. 
Yeah, no, it will. It will. And I, I really can't wait. Um, getting everything together. I, I, I'm putting my reservation in there for North Carolina, but I mean, I don't want to get a hotel room until I can get a guarantee with a ticket. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, the wait list. You well, here's the thing. You made it for the conference. Well, did you? If you heard the first part of the show. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there. The, I the rumor. I believe it to be true. Put get on the freaking waiting list. And the, seriously, as far as people getting hotel rooms, it's gonna it's gonna sell out tonight. So, as far as the hotel goes, because uh, there's yeah, there's there's almost nothing left. But go anyway. Go to, I mean, there's there's other hotels next to it, and honestly, it's just great being around the people. It's uh, it's it's going to be a fantastic thing. So if you can go, you know, if you have the means and the time, definitely go. Uh, you're you're not going to regret it. Yeah, no, I could take the days off, and there's somewhere everybody who's into this, they have to go down there. I I caught your thing with uh, Zulu One, uh, you know. Uh, Word out to him. That was a, that was a great interview too. That you, yeah, great you guy. Guys had. Um, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. I'm gonna do what I cool. can. You know, to get out there. Cool. Absolutely. Right I'm gonna meet you. I want to meet Patricia. I want to meet all the other people out there that are that are you know are just flat earthers. You know, because cool. there's really not many people out here in New York. Uh, hey man, the word's getting out, and I can't wait. Yeah, me, me too. It's it's getting getting huge, and and uh, this is this is part of what I was waiting for. So, anyway, I, I hate to do yeah, this to you, but I got absolutely. unfortunately more calls coming in. Uh, I don't know what it is. People just like calling. I understand in. completely. So, uh, I until no okay. worries. Have have a good good rest of your evening. Okay. Okay, you too. Right, bye bye. Okay, uh, we will pick up. Who's this next one? This next one is from Reisterstein, Maryland, I think. Let's try. Let's see what's what's going on. One sec. Um, 410 area code. Where are you calling in hey, from? I'm calling from Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. Hey, how's it going? It's been a while since I've called you. I always try to catch your shows, especially when you have um, experts. In the field yeah. Who can attest to their um, dealings uh, relative to y- your theory? And yes. uh, I- I'll tell you, all the ones that I've heard have mm-hmm. seemed completely sincere, and, oh, yeah. and their information very, very compelling. Now I, it dawned on yeah. me. It dawned on me not too long ago when talking to someone about drone technology. Mm-hmm. I wonder, have you ever uh, interviewed someone who either? programs the autopilot for commercial airlines or drones or someone who would have access to the telemetry because that would tell you whether or not they're making adjustments relative to the uh the rising horizon where they'd have to drop the craft good point no i have not talked to anybody that's tied right i'm trying i'm thinking back um <clears throat> i don't think i've talked to anybody that's been tied to drones not yet i mean a lot of people have talked about the fact that they, they've witnessed commercial flights and, and they, they make no adjustments relative to what I'm talking about. However, right. this would be in black and white. It would tell you exactly what is going on. And on these, the telemetry would tell you everything that's happening during that flight, and you would know exactly what they are doing or what they aren't doing, and you could draw conclusions from that. That would be very That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Someone, yeah, dig up... And it wouldn't have to be... Relative to drones, it could be a, a, an airline that has autopilot. Again, it could yeah, be the but, programmer, or it could be someone who has access to that telemetry. Yeah, but drones would be easier. You know, drones. I mean, there's people who can get civilian licenses for a lot of different drones, and having the 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 flight data for a drone, even though yeah, it's slow and doesn't travel that high off the ground, but it still has to adjust. Over, I mean, there's some drones that they fly a very long distance. Not, not, not the military drones, but the other ones. You know, just the civilian ones. I wonder if they keep flight data. That's a very interesting point. I like it. Oh, they def, they definitely keep it. And I'm wondering how how secure that data is. I would imagine at this point, if it, it, it's not a classified mission, it probably would not necessarily be that secure because it's simply a record of the flight and 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 more detail than you would have relative to a, a flight plan. Right. And, and I would think that someone would be willing to, to drop a, a couple sheets of paper to you and, and give us some clues in that regard. Sure. 
That's good. I like it. it. Again, perfect new little angle. Nobody's really brought that up yet. Nor do I even remember an email along those lines. Well, let's hope that someone hears this, and maybe you can put it out, you know, again, maybe next week, and, okay. and or maybe even look for it. You have a lot of connections. Uh, you could probably find someone who'd be willing to um, talk to you about it, or at least um, tell you what they've seen. Right. Relative to, to, to that telemetry, because it's such detail that it would give, you know, again, I think it would be something that couldn't be refuted if it were to prove what is your you're theorizing here. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up in the air, but uh, I, I think that with all the experts that you've had on, there certainly seems to be something amiss. I agree. Absolutely. Relative to what we've been said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And again, you know, fine. You know, I because I, I was I had to go through the subject matter list again today because CNN wanted part of it. And as I was going through, I was going, you know, none of these guys turn, you know, refuted it. And I still have fa- not fi- found any other subject matter experts to go against them, which is interesting. How, know, about, like, no- how, about, this, how about this, Mark? How about this? You know, there, there are uh, companies that sell autopilot um, uh, instrumentation and programs to, to major airlines and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I would imagine that information – even if it's not relative to a specific flight, would still have to have the adjustments in there so that they could be made. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That that certainly shouldn't be uh, classified in any way. Yeah. It, it's, just, it's just a program that would say, listen, this is what we can do for you. And, and I would imagine any major airline would want to go over anything like that to ensure that it's proper and all the bases are covered. And a computer programmer could pick up on those types of things that we're looking for relative to clues probably rather easily. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right. I'm sold. That's all I got. I'm going to start. Thank I'm you, start. For your yeah, you You have a good rest of your evening, okay? You too, sir. Take care. Right. Bye-bye. All right. We're going to pick up North Carolina, I believe, here in one second. Just want to see if there was anything coming in from the peanut gallery and other calls. Boy, busy night. And Mark from New York, sorry to ask you, tell tell New York to email me so we can do a meetup. All right. Oh, anyone that wants to do a meetup in the New York area, you can email Zulu1, that's Z-U-L-U-O-N-E. What? Is that one? Oh, boy, my eyes. I've got to blow up this text. Hang on one second. Copy and let's paste that into something else. At Zulu, I'm sorry, Zulu101 at yahoo.com. So Z U L U O N E 01 at yahoo.com. If you wanna if you wanna check that out. And let's pick up North Carolina. Different North Carolina this time. North Carolina 910, you are on live with Strange World. What are we talking about? North What's Carolina. going on, Mark? Hey, man. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Okay. Well, the reason I was calling was I'm, uh, what do you call it? I'm young, I skateboard a lot. Okay. And I was on social media, Instagram. And there's a famous like a skateboarding videographer, <laughs> and he's making a new video, and he he wrote on his grip tape to advertise for it, and it's it's quotes the flat Earth, and he posted a couple of days ago. I looked it up. I can't find anything on it, but oh. I seen a clip of somebody else skateboarding, and the guy that films making the video, like the dude posts a video of himself skateboarding, and it's filmed by the guy that put the flat Earth promo for his oh. new skate video yeah and it had hashtag flat earth so i think the new video is going to be called the flat earth and i don't know if you've seen that yet or heard anything about it i have not heard anything about this yet so if anybody does track down some of that stuff that would be really really cool i'm i'm really big into getting the younger set anyway and you know it's it's been working right. so far no oh, yeah yeah i'm trying to get people I actually live in Florida now, but I lived in North Carolina for a while. Mm-hmm. But trying to get people in my work into flat earth. 
Oh, it's it's very soon. All you have to do now. I mean, I I predict the next month or so, you're just gonna have to forward the the mainstream stories, and you can that way you can come at them sideways and say, oh yeah, by the way, did you see this on HBO? Did you see this on CNN? Did you see this? You know, what's your take on it? Right. Because because everyone looks as well. You know, this is the this is what they worship. This is, oh, it's all so credible. Oh, in fact, wait a minute. The peanut gallery just sent me, I think, a link to what you're just talking about. Uh, well, somebody on Zazzle. I don't know if it's the same thing. Dare to research flat Earth skateboard. That's on Zazzle. Mm. It's a product on Zazzle, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Wow, uh, 75, okay. 70, 75 bucks for the skateboard. But it's uh, but it's pretty cool. Some UN flags and stuff, and sort of like a green bleeding into yellow. Uh, that's kind of fun. But I don't well, think the it's videographer, the videographer. His name is Ty Evans. He's well known in the skateboarding community, like really well, really good at video. And so hopefully that will spread it out there. But also another thing I want to call is mm-hmm. I live in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, I went to the flat Earth meet up here. And it was a nice place, and I get there, and I talked to the bartender. I was like, hey, man, I am uh, came here, I've seen something online about a meetup. And he was like, what What meetup? What are you talking about? And I showed him the video, and he goes, oh, you're a flat earther. And I was like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? He goes, I had no idea we we're having a meetup here or anything, but one of my good buddies, he's a flat earther. I wonder if he knows about it. And he called his friend. His friend didn't know. But I was there for about an hour and a half talking to people, didn't find nobody in the flat earth. And then I leave, and then later I see Dreads post a video of him at the place. And I was like, oh, he came like the last two hours. He was there late, and I was there the first two hours. I was, that was the but only, me out. I, I'm sorry, were you the one that email was emailing me from the site? Yeah, yeah, that, that was me. Yeah that, <laughs> yeah, that was you. That was the only meetup out of every meetup we have done so far, which just fizzled. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was the location. I don't know much about Jacksonville. I've been there before. But every other meetup we've had, I mean, you know, like Colorado's doing one literally every week. Uh, you know, in fact, they're doing two locations every week now. And Phoenix right. and, and you know, flat earth assholes driving around doing all these meetups. The Jacksonville one, I have no idea what happened. Uh, it was, I don't know. Again, maybe it was where it was. Uh, I, I have no idea because, you know, I posted the same, I did nothing different than I did any of the others. I just said, okay, flattered me. You know, I built the trailer and, and, uh, I think the guy that organized it, he, I, well, I think he showed, right. He, he showed and then dread showed, you know, you've been exposed, but, but yeah, it's like nobody else for whatever reason, I, who knows what the, what the series of circumstances were, were there. I'm sorry that one, that one fizzled. Don't know why. You know, maybe it was. I messaged Dread. I talked to Dread a little bit, hoping to set up another one around here. And I got like two people I met online and IPS chat, like uh, maybe okay. set something up in Jacksonville. I and mean, like, I mean, even we'll get like, it set better. You, you guys will get it. Don't worry. I mean, look, I, I'm not going to pick on the Phoenix one, but heck, the Phoenix one set up in the food court at a mall and they still got 20 something people. So it was, wow. it, it can be done. No, no, no question whatsoever on it. But eh, you never know w- with these things. But I, what I find more interesting is that the bartender had a friend that knew. I, I know. That's what, like, I was like, oh, he's like, oh, you're a flat earther. And I was kind of like hesitant. I don't want to like laugh at me or something. I was like, oh, kind of, you know, I kind of has got some good, um, you know, got some good points on it. He's like, oh, one of my buddies, he's a flat earther. And yeah. I was like, I felt welcome. He was a cool bartender, though, after that. Nice. Yeah, see, yeah. 90%, he, my, it's my prediction, but I 90% of the flat earth community, I still believe, is in the closet. And that they just cannot come out because they don't want to expose themselves. And and but they're, But it's happening more and more now. It's like, well, these guys came out, so I can come out. So eventually it will be the dancing guy thing where there's too many people that are out and then it becomes cool to be out. Exactly. Exactly. So. Cool. Right on, man. Well, you know, again, well, if you guys, if you guys want to do another one, if you, if you finally settle and you think you get a decent sized group, let me know. I will, uh, I'll, cause I have the templates. I just pull up the Jacksonville template. And, you know, I, again, what wasn't anything like I chose. I didn't choose any weird music or weird slides or anything. It wasn't like I was doing skull and crossbones, dying animals and stuff. 
no. I actually, a couple people messaged me from YouTube after they see me commenting like later that night and they're saying, oh, I'm out of town. I was supposed to go. Like, all the people saying, oh, I'll be there. I'm going. And I messaged them all. And they're like, yeah, oh, sorry, it, I had to go out of town or family thing. It could have been one of those weird things where, you know how it goes, those parties. Every once in a while you run into a party and like the Murphy's Law, everybody had an excuse to be somewhere else. And, you know, they just happened to be yeah. that same night. So, eh, no worries. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Right. I appreciate you doing your thing, and I like how you put all the meetups on there. Well, thanks. Uh, the Flat Earth community is awesome. I yeah. think you're, you're my favorite radio station to listen to. Well, thank or you. your show is, my bad. Well, again, there's a lot of great shows out there. I'm just trying to keep this, I'm, I'm trying to beat the drum and keep this community staying positive. I'm trying to stay out of the drama, if all possible. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Right. Keep it going. All right, man. You have a good rest of your evening. All right. Thank you. Okay, phone number to call in is 720-897-6111, 720-897-6111, or 213-233-399. Holy smokes, 512 got in. Holy smokes. This guy is literally called, I think, 40 times tonight. 512. Here we go. 512. You pressed redial so many times, it was frightening. What is going on? And he hung up. <laughs> he gets through. I unmute him from San Marcos, Texas. I mean, this guy called. I'm just looking. I can't even keep track of how many times he called tonight. All right. You know what? We're going to pick up 419 before the break. We got time. All right, 419. You got the rest of the time before we go to break. What's going on? <laughs> everything at once mark what do you think oh it's, i just wanted to can you hear me yep, yep i can hear you all right i just wanted to say a random story sure like i i've been single for a long ass time and i finally am not and found someone that's really great with children and everything and she kind of thought i was a little a little bit nutty because the flat earth thing Mm -hmm. But she's totally on board. It only took her about 15 minutes to a half hour of researching it. And really? her children are even talking to me about it. <laughs> really? Like, it's really cool. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Her 10-year-old came up to me and, like, made some really good points. I was like, whoa, even mentioning the video game thing like you do? I was yeah. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, That's right basically up. all I wanted to call and say. This is, uh, this is shirtless flat earther, the Phil guy that comes on. Every once in a while. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry, sorry for blowing up your phone. It's like the only way I can ever get through. No, 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 no. Just remember, I'll tell you what, do you have the backup number? You can't tell me the backup number was failing. Uh, I do have two numbers, but so, do you, do you use for you. The only if, one I if, seem to be able to get through. Um. All right. Well, whatever. If, uh, wait, well, no, you were blowing up my phone. You're 419. Uh, no, the guy was blowing up. Received. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to hang up. Okay, <laughs> man. God bless, man. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's a rookie mistake. And you know what? You hate to see it. All right. Uh, do we have time before the break for anybody else to call in? Yeah, we do. We still got three minutes before the break. 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. And Peanut Gallery says, never talk about shirtless with Mark Sargent. Thank you, because I am so immensely attracted to men that don't wear shirts. Thank you, Peanut Gallery, for throwing that out there. Uh, 419. Yeah, 419 did call quite a bit. Uh, there's 309. We can talk to them for a little bit before the break. 309 area code from Illinois. What uh, what's going on? Hey Mark, it's uh, Dave from Illinois again. Hey, hey, I heard the guy talking about the uh, skateboarder, and wanted to bring up. Not sure if you've heard of him, uh, Catfish Swagger Jacker, also known as Zach Yankish, uh, BMX rider. He is the like a uh, main announcer for Nitro Circus. Is a flat earther. He is very vocal about it on his Snapchat, Instagram, and at the shows and everything. So. He's wow. reaching a lot of people himself, and he's been doing it for years now. Wow. Well, right on. You know, um, let's see if we can get that guy interviewed on Hot Potatoes. What, what's his name again? 
uh, Zach Gankish, uh, also known as Catfish. I, I'll send him a message tonight here, and I'll send him your number and stuff. Hopefully, he can get a hold of you that way. But you can yeah, usually look it. him up on uh, Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Facebook, anything like that. He's on there. Right on. And he's That's a little, uh, out, you know, he's got he's got colorful dreads and tattoos all over him and all sorts of stuff. So he's he's very uh, out there as it is. Well, you know, the flat Earth community it takes all kinds, and most of them <laughs> are right pretty enthusiastic. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, have them send send whatever you can my way, and um, if I can't do it directly, I will route it to the appropriate people. Perfect. Sounds good. All right, man. Any, any shout outs? Right. Uh, shout out to my brother in uh, San Francisco. He's uh, called you a couple times already, actually. Oh, okay, cool. Right on. All right. Have, have a good, good night. night All right, you too. Okay, uh, no more calls before the break because we only got 30 seconds to the break. But you can call in during the break and just go into the hold queue with the wonderful and almost bulletproof phone system with the exception of 512 area code who is called probably 50 to 60 times tonight. And we'll see if we can get him for the last part of it. Phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. And when we come back, we'll take a few more calls. I don't know if I'll actually get to read an email. In, and But please, you guys can still email me at msergeant23 at comcast.net. And I will eventually do an email show. I've been really busy, but we'll get to it. Stay right there. No hype, no fear. You're listening to Truth Frequency Radio. We are TFR. I'm swallowing a cookie. Welcome back to Strange World. My name is Mark Sargent, and um, this is part four of four. Ah, there we go. We're taking calls, and there's still a few people out there I know who have tried and have not gotten in because we just had wall-to-wall calls, which is amazing because I didn't think I was going to do a live show today. I thought I was going to be stuck in Seattle or in a ferry line, and I'm not. So phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. It's your last chance. It's not a three-hour show. All right, let's see if we can get in here. 512, ready? 512, are you actually going to say something? Mark, are you? (laughs) I'm 512, yes. You realize you called... I called you a million times. It goes to I get five quick rings. Signal. Five quick rings. So maybe it's my old phone. I have no idea. I think it's your old phone because the the new system literally forwards your if you're calling the old number, you know, the, or seven two zero eight nine seven six one one one. It one ring it forwards over to the new system, and then I I mean I've literally I, I got I got five quick rings, much quicker between the rings than I normally get on my phone. Just ring, wait, ring, wait. This is ring, 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 and then busy signal, and that was it. Oh, yeah, that's, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm no, no, don't worry about it. That's, you're probably getting routed through the DOD switchboard. And well, uh, check this out. when no. I called, when I called your, the other number, the 233 or two one three two three three, I got you live. I heard the show live on the phones. Well, you can hear the show. The new system, you're actually, if you go, if you get put on hold. So what happens is if you, when you call the new system, you go into the queue, and the queue you can you actually can hear me, and and you hear me, but you but I can't hear you. I can okay. see you on the board. No, okay. the, and then what I okay. do is I unmute you, and then a message comes up on your side. It says unmuted, and then then I can hear you. So 
You're good. You're all, it's okay. all good. No problem. In any case, um, I'm Chip. Uh, I do your music. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chip, why didn't you just say you were Chip? Uh, well, I sent you a few emails actually while I was doing all this frustration. I just got a new computer today. My old computer crapped out, and I'm waiting for a month to get this thing. Cause the oh, one they that's what these emails – I see, I didn't even get a chance. I had so many freaking phone calls. I didn't have a chance, and now I see yeah, it, 512. Yeah. Mark, I'm 512. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm the guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. It wasn't 50 times. It was like 10 or 20, but it was enough, right? All right. Well, well, well. heck, I've got to talk to you for just a minute or two because – and by the way, Grand Rapids, Michigan, I will pick you up after this, I promise. And that is – this is Chip Baker. You you attended Patricia Steer's Mixer down yeah, the in Houston. Yeah, the with Patricia, yes. We, and we, yeah, we had a great time. Absolutely fantastic. We even had a few dogs there. I don't know yeah. if you saw them in the footage. I did see those uh, in the footage. To, um, yeah, we had another guy. I guess Patricia had him in called Ray, and he did a, a specific interview stuff for him. And then there was Daniel was your guy who we interviewed outside with a different mm-hmm. camera. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nobody gets to see yeah, that so footage. Great until time. The... And your earlier caller did reference, yeah, somebody that we had there that appeared to be a plant or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, troll. But we, yeah. Earth is work, we reacted cool. We're, we're not going to go that way. You know, we're not going down that road. We're going to yeah. maintain our dignity and our – so uh, good times had by all, really fun time. Oh, and then to your Australia caller, I want to let him know that Australia's not down under. It's just far out. There you go. The outer ring. Absolutely. It's just right. far out. That's yeah, good. Yeah, That's yes, sure. exactly. I'm, I, I now own the rights to that. And, and another it's, one – Another one, yeah, make it into a T-shirt or something, right? Yeah. Um, another one was you and Patricia talked about the Christmas in July a while back, and I did a little thing. It, it wouldn't have been um, edited out, but it was uh, the Frosty the Snowman, which was Frosty the Snowman lived on the flat earth even though he was made of balls. And when springtime came, Frosty ran down to sea level. The end. <laughs> <That's> nice. <laughs> and for hey, those of you who don't. Big, but those of you who don't know, I've got, I've got, to, I've got to do a quick shout out to you because you're here. Uh, this is the guy, Chip Baker. This is the guy who's been making all my cool instrumental tracks for just a, a lot of the things I've done. Uh, the, the, the trailers, the intros, and the outros. Uh, in fact, the intro to Strange World and the the half the, the one hour marker at Strange World. You're the one that comes up with those cool little mashups, and you you do some fantastic work. I love I love everything you've done. Well, you're big in the movies, and so that was a good clue for me. In fact, yeah. um, if you watch, I sent you a thing on blood work where Jeff Daniels is driving um, a Clint Eastwood out to a crime scene, and he says, uh, well, you, I think this is um, Clint Eastwood, someone says, you, you go where the clues lead. And Jeff Daniels says, don't any clues lead to the beach? And I thought, yeah, Shell Beach, that's where the clues lead. Nice. Nice. That's excellent. Right, right. It's everywhere. Yeah. Here's another one. There's an obscure movie, and it wasn't that great. It was called Bone Tomahawk, and it was with Kurt oh, Russell. And, and it was. Yeah. Um, I saw that it was a kind of a straight to DVD movie, and I actually saw that movie. That was a dark movie. I loved it. Did, yeah, I know. I know. I, well, I, we 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 had to look away. My wife and I. The the, the one sort of uh, bi- bisecting scene was pretty bad. But if you notice, when they were riding up on their way out there. So this kind of sidekick guy says something along the lines of, you know, I know I know the earth is round, but it sure looks flat from here. Yep. I, I remember that clip. I think I used a small chunk of that. I reversed it, and I think I used that in one of the Strange Worlds. I remember that when it came out. I watched the movie. I watched the movie later, but I remember somebody sent it to, the clip to me first. And yeah, that's a great clip. He, it's a flat Earth clip in Bone Tomahawk. Yeah, you're absolutely right. When they're when the four yeah. of them I think, are riding it, through it, the plane. It, yeah. It's showing up everywhere. Um, CBS is going to pull out their salvation show. Here we go. Another comet extinction or asteroid extinction thing we got. You know, more fear porn to go ahead and freak out the masses. So, right. Uh, it's much safer on the flat Earth. It, it, it's much less populated so far, even though we, we, it's growing huge. Um, there's, a, there's an Art of War quote I want to bring up. It, it wasn't one of the actual quotes, but it was an anecdote. And it talked about a general who was in a fort with his men and he kept them inside the fort and they got to the point to where the soldiers were so anxious to go out and fight, they were fighting each other. And yeah. at that point, the general knew they were ready to go and he opened the gates and they went out and just utterly devastated the enemy. And so that's what the Flat Earth crew is right now. We're to the point, yeah, we're sort of going at each other a little bit because we're ready to fight. And we're right. bringing up all our best arguments and we're just, you know, ready to go, got swords out. So 
um, we're probably into phase three, I would think, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, especially after this last weekend with the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, with the mainstream media. Again, that's why I'm, what I'm going to call this when I when I put it out there. I'm just going to call it mainstream, which is now yeah. I'm getting approached by mainstream. Well, not just me. I mean, a lot of people are getting approached by mainstream outlets. It, you know, once the people start getting on the dance floor, everybody wants to get in on the action. Yeah, the uh, dancing guy. That's the greatest video ever. When you one crazy guy goes up there and dances and pretty sure. I was like, well, we were there first. No, is he Daniel Pratt? I got to give him a quick shout out because he does these quick, odd videos. But he had said, you know, it's not who gets off the block first, it's who finishes the race. And then you can even take it a bit further and go back. It's not really a race, it's a personal journey for all of us. Everybody right. out there, you know who you are, all you flat earthers. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah and it, this is this is exciting time to be alive, like Patricia said in her interview. It's an exciting time to be alive. You know, yeah. this is one of those. Eras in history that you know, like like you said, I was there. You know, we were there. Oh, yeah. we did it. Yeah. So, uh, oh, absolutely. It, all the flutters, people. Yeah, it's it is really it's doing something fun. And again, I I'm still gonna say it until it happens. You know, if we can make it to the conference, it is gonna be the greatest conference ever. If we can make it to the conference, because it could blow up before then. And honestly, you you know how that's gonna go. I mean, it just, all it takes is some big promoter with money. He's you know all he has to do is approach the organizer. Says no, no, I'm gonna buy out your venue. You're gonna move it across town, and we're gonna do it in 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 something that's really really big, which would be fantastic. I hope it. I hope that's what happens. Yeah, but I see the core flat earthers are not sellouts. You know what I'm saying? It's no, the real deal. And no, 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 can't no, be no, not, not sellouts. But at the same time, it's, you know, if somebody could have it, let's put it this way, if I was right. organizing okay. it and somebody says, look, I can give sure. you a 10,000 seat venue and we can do the whole, we can do the mm-hmm. whole nine yards, you know, we, you know, and you, and people don't even have to go into a different city. Then, uh, yeah, I'd probably say, sure, let's, let's do this thing for the community anyway. That's what I do. But we'll see again. Well, I'd be, you know what? Be, that's, that's, Go ahead. This is your movie, right? This is, it's not the village, it's the community, right? Okay, you know, you gave your village analogy, you know. Um, in fact, have you seen Passengers yet? Yes. The sci fi movie Passengers? Yes. Right? Okay, he wakes her up, right? right. In fact, right. that movie's about being awake. It's so brilliantly right. done. They had the little line about sailing around our Antarctica and so forth, you know. So, uh, right. Flat Earth is like, it's leaking into everything. You cannot stop it. It's just no. part of the, you know, the, the, in fact, I originally used the dominoes are falling analogy, and now I'm going back to fireworks. The fuse has been lit. Mm, it's good, especially since I'm a big yeah, fireworks right? guy. Yeah, well, you're a See, fireworks guy. Right? I'm a virus exactly. guy. Um, hey, by the way, the, the peanut gallery <laughs> wants to uh, mention real quick, uh, please give uh, Chip my compliments on the Dr. Strange love music. He was a big, big fan of that. Well, you can tell him that, that Stanley Kubrick and, and Terry Southern, who helped him write that, were really responsible for that thing. It, it wrote itself. It was so brilliantly done that when I started working on that, this is years ago when I first got a digital audio workstation, but it allowed me to do edits that couldn't have been done before. You know, And, and I like the lines, like, can you imagine what's going to happen to your frame out look way of life and everything? You know, He'll yeah. see the big board. Why didn't you tell the world, hey? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Great stuff. Um, and yeah, and tell you what, I know you got other calls. You got other calls on the line, but I want to just tell everybody out there, Flat Earthers, we love you. You guys are a great community. Um, uh, personally, I'm a, a, a second generation amateur astronomer, and so I should have been one of the hardest people to turn. But when I started to see the things, in fact, I'll put a challenge out there. Um, I took a pair of binoculars that my dad I inherited from my dad, and he had a solar filter, which means you could you know look directly at the sun. And yeah. when I heard one of your earlier shows, I was like, okay, really? So got the binoculars out, midday, you know, sun at the south at, at its zenith, if you will, and focused the binoculars in with the solar filter. And then at night when the moon was at the same position, I took the filter off and put the binoculars up without refocusing. And to my shock and horror, it was I didn't have to refocus. And I had to do this for three days in a row just to convince myself that I wasn't doing something wrong. Huh. And a focal plane is a distance – from you that you're you focus on your eyes work the same way your your binoculars telescopes so i put that challenge forth to everybody out there you know just try this see if you can find it now i probably did this during the solstice which would mean that the sun and moon were probably you know relatively closer but i mean the difference between you know 93 million and 237 238,000 is still 400 times yeah and man focus 400 times difference on binoculars i don't think so (laughs) 
So Excellent great point. talking to you, Mark. I think I talked to you one time long ago before you did one of your shows and none of your phones worked. And I kind of felt <laughs> responsible for that until I realized that you had to reboot your machine. Yeah, uh, I had to reboot my machine. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you more tracks. I got more in me in the works. And right uh, on, I man. I said to everybody in the Flatters community, we love you. Good talk to you. And uh, now you know who blew up your phone. No, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good rest of your night, okay? All right. All right. Peace I'll see you. Flatters, buddy. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. All right, uh, phone number to call in is 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. And since he is not blowing up my phone anymore, I can get out a quick message to say that tomorrow, because it's Wednesday, I'm going to be doing Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes on YouTube with Patricia Steer, like I do every Wednesday, unless some emergency comes up. And we're going to be talking about all sorts of fun stuff. So check it out. It's going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern on the YouTube channel, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, live stream. And holy smokes, the phones with just a few minutes left, eh, 13, 12, 12 minutes left, it's gone quiet. So do you know what that means? And 3 p.m.-ish. <laughs> yeah, Peanut Gallery says 3 p.m.-ish, like she'll be on time. Now, now, let's not pick on Patricia. She is fashionably late because she's fashionable. That's just it. And when you're that, when you're naturally fashionable, if you are not late, then there's something wrong. So I'm not going to give her too much crap. Has she kept me waiting for up to 45 minutes? Yes, she has. But you know what? She's my co-host and she is an essential part of the Flat Earth community. And she's my dear, dear friend. So. With that, because I'm really stalling at this point, I'm trying to see if there's any more phone calls that come in. I may have to actually read an email, and the peanut gallery is going to go, no, no emails. Yes, I actually may do it. So let me scroll down here real quick. And it's from a, uh, a month ago. I'm so behind when it comes to emails. Okay, let's see. This one's called a Flat Earth News. Really? You want me to do Flat Earth News? Flat Earth. All right. All right. Fine. I will do Flat Earth News. I will set. go into YouTube, type in Flat Earth, set the filter to one week, and see what happened in Flat Earth. ODD Reality is still running 24-7. Let's see. Authentic Intent. Doing Flat Earth Affiliate Broadcasting Red Pills. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Nicole Cote. Cliff's 100% prove the, fl the Flat Earth. Try to debunk this. Nicole Cote is jumping on it. Love it. You've been exposed. Oh, we may have a call coming in. 254 area code out of Texas. Let's see what we can do. 254 area code. You are on live. Right. Strange world. What's going on? Nope. I just called in to say goodnight. <laughs> That's Thank it? You. Really? All right. Did somebody tell yeah. you to call in so that, <laughs> so that I wouldn't read uh, emails? Really? I've almost lost my voice. You said it was pretty dead, so I thought I'd call in and say, hey. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I've almost lost my voice. I mean, I've barely got a voice. This is Shannon, by the way. I called in and you probably don't remember me. But I, believe it or not, I do remember you. And I'm going to remember Eastland, Texas. Yep, well, Cisco, but Eastland's actually a little bit bigger. I was born in Eastland, Texas. Oh, cool. Any uh, any little Not too far from the pond I was born in. Any any shout outs you want to do? Anything any quick things you want to say other than good night? Just shout out to the flat earth. Right on. We are coming in strong. Oh yeah. Coming in strong. Yeah. I even think Med got my family thinking about it this weekend. We went to the river and I couldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> and they all like tell me to shut up, you know, and and then my brother finally conceded. He's like, well, you're right. It, you're right. It could be either way. We don't have really any proof either way. Excellent. So he's thinking about it. Good. I'm and, happy and about that. So, soon he won't be able to ignore it because it's going to be everywhere. I hear you. It's booming. We're getting out there. We're getting it done. Yep. Get it done. I'm really enjoying authentic intent. Yeah. My, my kid. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, he's the doing a. Rocks. 
he's doing a bang up job. Love, love what he's doing. Again, anybody that comes into this community, the, you know, there's, I mean, yeah, there's some half-assed attempts here and there, but when you're coming in, you know, really strong, I, I love it. Uh, I love, I, in fact, um, yeah, I, was, I don't have the, I'm not afraid of him, but he's doing it. You know, some people might not like some of the things he does, but hey, at least he's trying. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. To to he's, put yourself out to try. on video, that's that's saying something, and more power to everybody that's in the community to put themselves out there. And again, if I could help, you know, if I was the guy that helped you, you know, take that big step, uh, then great, fantastic. I'm I'm glad that that I could help motivate because I know my videos when I put them out there, oh, yeah. very very basic, made them with a free editor. You know, just just wrote a script and talked about it. No flash, no no production polish, and uh, I <laughs> people are going, oh well, heck. you were a huge part of me coming out there. You know, and seeing some stuff. Huge part. Like, Thank you. you. Know, I'm a lot I'm, of a lot of different ones that y'all were, but yeah, you no, had a lot to do with it. The community is huge. I love it. And now that the mainstream is getting into it, I love the fact that I can say, oh, yeah, you can talk to this guy. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you can talk to this guy. You can talk to this person. And it's, you know, I, I can, anyone that calls in, I have no doubt that I can funnel them in the right direction, which is fantastic because I honestly, I don't want to do all the interviews. Do not want to do it. That's not what this is about. Again, I love, I love the fact that people want to talk to me, but it's, uh, it's, it's better, you know, the community, it's, be, it's better to have a strong community than a uh, strong leader. It always has been. In, in every, I agree. So. It's not really about a leader. We're, we are yep. leading together. Y'all exactly. helped wake up a lot of people. Yep. Yep. Totally hear you. We are leading together. <laughs> We're like yeah. a militia. Uh, don't be careful when you say that. <laughs> you know what? I, I had a friend oh, yeah. was tell, my friend was telling me it's like it isn't it kind of turning into a cult? And I'm going, yeah, you don't want to say those words either. It's like, and it's like, aren't you turning into like David? Uh, Koresh? And I'm going, I'm not David Koresh. All right, we do not have a compound. Hey, you know, I have a I have a very old dictionary, and the word cult is not necessarily a bad word, but it has been kind of turned into one one of my favorite 80s bands was called the cult when one of their their hit songs mm. was called see she sells sanctuary which is tough to say because it turns into that mm. she sells seashells by the shore or whatever it is anyway i'm gonna try to take one more call it before believing something very strongly okay patricia she's coming in okay no no, no, no not, not 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 patricia that was great, Matt. no 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 stay stay you there? I'm still here. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just saying that we do have to take a call, though, in a minute. So any, any shout-outs you want to do? Anything left before we go? Just Flat Earth Community? Shout-out to all the flat world. And, you know, of course, my husband, who really brought me to understand this, he, he endured and waited for me and waited for me, telling me he didn't even, he didn't even push it. And I finally came around. Nice. Was about three months. Came, cool. And I'm here. <laughs> Excellent. And glad to have you on board. And with that, I'm going to kick you overboard right now. Say good night, Grace. Okay. Have a good night. All right. Good night, y'all. <laughs> and just like that, she vanished into the evening. Okay. Uh, what else on Flat Earth News? Something that uh, Peanut Gallery, Zulu's last interview, needs more hits. Zulu, human side of Flat Earth 2. Yeah, check out Zulu One's channel when you get a chance. Friend of mine, good guy. It's going to be at the conference. Zulu One. Zero One. Check out his Flat Earth channel. Flat Earth the human side. Some of the videos he's making. I'm trying to look if there's anything else here. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Out there. Don't forget to resubscribe to DITRH because his first channel got taken down. He wasn't targeted because of Flat Earth, though. He was targeted because of Sandy Hook. Some of those Sandy Hook people are really stubborn about that. I mean, they take a personal offense, and apparently they've pled their case strong enough with uh, YouTube that YouTube's been taking their side, which is not good. Hopefully, it'll never happen with Flat Earth. I don't think it will, but you never know. Let's see if there's anything else here. Plain truth info. Your brainwash. 
Quasi Luminous just keeps making them. Flat Earth Asshole versus Math Powerland. <sighs> gotta watch that if you're ever gonna deal with Matt ever again. You gotta watch that one first. And let's see. There's a meetup in Portland, July 13th, which is coming up in two days. I made the trailer for that one. Marty Leeds made a great video called We Need to Talk About Flat Earth. Awesome little video. It's not going to be in my short list, but it's good that he's back in it. And he should be. And it was him addressing Cody's lab because Cody's lab has a massive following. And it was good that Marty Leeds just, I mean, it was a great argument. And I think it, it put Cody's lab to shame. Hopefully uh, Cody's lab will try to respond. Turn it into something, but you never know. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can do? Or should I read this one? How much time do I got left? I got three minutes and change. Yeah, I think I can get this one email out. Why not? As my phone's blowing up. Uh, all right. Hi, Mark. I watched your video called Under the Dome with Astonishment. Great work. A lot, great work. A lot of research. Thank you for sharing it with us. I knew 90% of what they've been telling us is uh, and taught is false. I'm not singing for two minutes, he answered the peanut gallery. Although I can understand most of what you were saying, still I have a few things that I couldn't understand, like the terrestrial sky and celestial sky. What are the subtle, subtle difference between the two? Um, I don't know. No one's ever asked me that. How can I access the text and references of your video to read and try to understand it better? I will send this guy some text. I will always wondered why every U.S. presidential candidate makes the innocent-looking touristic visit to the South Pole. Also good. Do you believe that Nazis still have bases in Antarctica? No, I don't, because I thought they took care of them in Operation High Jump in 1946. If there are no celestial space and there is continuity with land, ice, and oceans, as explained in the book Beyond the Poles by Aegeonic 1, do we not have our own galaxy in our solar system? No. Are there no other planets like Mars and Jupiter? No. Not like you know about them. What about other galaxies? No. Do they exist with their own sun? No. In fact, I might as well just, this is like a teacher just using a red pen all the way down. Are all the stars we see at night in the sky just an illusion resulting from light emitting gases under the dome? Yes, in some way or form. But some of these stars are fixed that each night we see them almost in the same position. Illusion created by lenses of the human eye and telescopic lenses? Well, not necessarily lenses of the human eye, part of the display system, yes. Four, and our moon, the sun, and rotating at certain orbits around our planets? No, no, the sun and the moon we are rotating above us. <clears throat> that's it they're much much smaller what makes the seasons you guys know all these if the earth is not rotating about its axis blah 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 I've heard this too many times he'll get it eventually I know he will we're coming up on a minute left so um, before we go <clears throat> quick reminder I'm going to be on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes tomorrow 3 Pacific 6 Eastern quick thank you to uh, Peanut Gallery for helping me out and remember any subject matter experts that i have talked to or want to be subject matter experts get a hold of me send me an email with your best phone number if you want to go public because mainstream is now on this and cna is asking me for names and numbers and i'm already giving them some if you want to get in on this and you are legit contact me and i will put you in touch with some of these mainstream sources and we will get this ball rolling as it were and, you know, the Ten Commandments, I don't know them by heart. Uh, but um, what I try to tell people is treat others better than you treat yourself. The world will be a better place. And when you come back next week, I will be here. Same flat time, same flat channel. Make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs>